Morning everybody. Well, as you can see, I'm wearing a quilted flannel shirt and a sweatshirt. So it's, I think the truck said it was 37 degrees this morning. So it's a little on the chilly side. Uh, surprisingly, I didn't see any frost, but that's coming real soon. We're, today I've got, I've got a lot of running around to do this morning, but I'm hoping to get that grain cart back here so I can get the grain cart unhooked from the tractor and the tractor hooked to the planters. Get the planters filled. Maybe this afternoon I might be able to start planting some wheat. I don't know. I don't. I haven't been out to the fields yet to see how wet it was or it got from the rains that we had yesterday. Um, but I'm not very real hope, hopeful bleh, on planting today. I'm hoping I can plant tomorrow because they're talking rain on Sunday again now. Wonderful. But we'll see where the day goes. Biggest thing is I got a lot of running around to do this morning. So we'll see what this afternoon brings. Come along for the ride. I don't know how interesting the video is going to be today, but we'll see. I just stopped in at Home Depot. You can kind of see it in the background there. And uh, while I was checking out, the guy behind me in the aisle, he goes, well... Are the fields going to be dry enough for you to plant wheat in the next couple days? I turned around and looked at him and I says, I sure hope so. Mother Nature's not cooperating real well. And he goes, I know. He goes, well, keep putting up the good fight. I says, thank you, sir. You have a good day. I kind of chuckled as I was walking out. Apparently, he watches a few of my videos. <laughs> All right, guys, I got to show you something. Uh, I did my running around and everything like I had to do today and the other day I don't know if I remember if you guys remember I had to order some new hydraulic fittings and stuff like that from for the combine where the head attaches to the combine itself it's leaking oil and it drips down onto um, the belt and everything and it creates a belt to slip so I bought the rebuild kits for it I want to show you what's in the rebuild kit. Okay, this right here, there's three packs of these O-rings. There's three packs of these. These are all O-rings also. And then there's these five valves. Well, everything here, just this stuff, $920. Unbelievable. So, yeah. Well, it is chilly today, man. I just looked at the temperature of the weather. It's 48 degrees right now. I know, 48 degrees in the spring, or I should say in the winter, is very warm. But when you're used to the 60, 70, 80 degree weather, man, when it hits 48, it is cold. Um... Walking out in the field behind the barn here, I'm, I'm hoping that earlier today the sun was out, and I was really hoping I could get some, uh, get the ground to dry out enough to where I could go plant some wheat, but it is very, it's very muddy out still. I'm, I'm in the field behind the barn here, and it's, it is very muddy. There's no way I can plant in this. This stuff, uh, what it does is when it's this muddy out, uh, the mud builds up on the packing wheels and the gauge wheels of the planter and everything. And as it, it's like the snowball effect. As it gets onto the gauge wheels, the wheels actually get bigger and bigger because of the mud. Well, when they get that big, then it actually raises the planter up and the seed doesn't get placed in the ground where it should be and it's just garbage at that point so there's no way I can plant in this right now it's got to dry two more days at least and that's if the sun comes out and the wind kicks up it's really not windy there's a slight breeze but nothing with the temperatures as cool as it is right now and as little breeze is going on with no sun it's not gonna dry so this is just 
unbelievable. It's not the best best harvest year so far yet, that's for sure. But we're gonna make the best of it and see what we can do. My screen shut off here. There you go. And now I can see. So yeah, I don't know. The it's not drying, the beans aren't drying down, so I can't harvest. The ground's not drying, so I can't plant wheat. And now they're talking rain on Sunday, which originally it was going to rain Monday, so I had all weekend. Well, now they push the rain forward to where it's supposed to rain Sunday again. And I don't think everything's going to dry out before Sunday. And next week isn't looking that good. I think what I saw, it said rain Sunday, Monday, sunshine Tuesday, and then rain Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So, I don't know. When we do start rolling, I got a feeling I'm going to be cranking out some late nights just to keep things try and caught up. But, oh well, I guess I can only do what I can do. Mother Nature's not allowing me to do much of anything at this point. So, well, maybe. Maybe Monday, well at some point I gotta get the combine back here so I can work on the hydraulic leak and put the $900 parts in it. So, I don't know, maybe we'll work on that Monday, maybe even tomorrow, I don't know. I need to get a ride out to the field so I can bring stuff back so I can work on it. I still need to get the, the tractor back so I can get the planters hooked to them. Oh well. It is what it is at this point, I guess. I guess the only thing we can do is laugh about it and make do with what we got. So, uh, honestly, I really don't have anything more, I guess. So, I think I might just end the video here and call it a day. You guys have a wonderful day. If I don't put a video out by, you know, tomorrow or Sunday, have a great weekend. We'll talk to you guys later. I appreciate all of you.